Do you have a hard time using a CPAP machine at night? If so, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Val, an integrative sleep medicine physician and women's sleep expert, here to give you four common reasons why people struggle with using a CPAP machine. You are not alone. I myself have sleep apnea and I use a machine. Honestly, the first two weeks were the worst. The number one reason why patients have a hard time using the machine, I would say, is probably because it's unnatural to sleep with something on your face at, when you sleep at night. And it really can take some time getting used to. One thing that I recommend to patients who come see me in my practice is to use desensitization techniques. What do I mean by that? Well, actually, just wear your mask while you're on your phone, when you're preoccupied doing something such as reading a book, so your brain gets more used to being on the machine. You desensitize yourself to therapy. The second reason why patients have a hard time using a CPAP machine is because the mask is uncomfortable. Look, all our faces are made different. There are some places that can actually custom fit a mask for your face, meaning, you know, get a 3D printout of your, what your face looks like and give you a custom made mask. But up until that point, we still do have more standard masks. If the first mask you get is just completely uncomfortable, let your supplier know and they should be able to give you another mask that is more comfortable. The third reason why patients have a hard time is probably because of the pressure. If you did a sleep study at home, what doctors often do is give you an automatic CPAP machine, which means we set a range of pressure and the machine is smart enough to figure out how much pressure you in fact need. Sometimes if your mask isn't fitting well, your machine will drive too much pressure and that can be super uncomfortable. Some people have told me it feels like they're in a wind turbine all night long. So what your doctor can do is actually decrease that pressure range to make it more comfortable. Sometimes we just allow for a really low pressure to get your body acclimated or used to being on therapy. The fourth reason why people have a hard time using their machine, I think is because of dry mouth. Depending on the style of mask that you use, if you're using a mask that just covers underneath your nose or over your nose and your mouth falls open, that can cause a lot of air leak. So one way to fix that is either to change up your mask style, get a mask that covers your nose and your mouth, or use something called a chin strap. Basically, it looks like a really uh, wide ace bandage to keep your mouth closed. Another option, and you may or may not like this option, is actually using lip tape either vertically or horizontally. I'm not the biggest fan of lip tape in the general population because it just really depends on what's going on and I wanna make sure that you can get enough air and oxygen. But if you have been diagnosed with sleep apnea and your mouth is falling open, covering up the lips or mouth can help make a seal so that the air goes down and opens up your airway where it needs to be. I hope you found these tips helpful on common reasons why patients struggle with using their CPAP machine. Please like and share this with others.